Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be doing my second review of the brand new Always Bratz dolls and today we have Jade from the Always Bratz line. She is my third favorite after Sasha and I was unfortunately unable to buy Sasha off of the MGA website because she was out of stock and Jade also unhappy unfortunately happened to be out of stock on Amazon and was not able to be purchased. So I thought I'd just get her from there along with uh, Yasmin. And the back says, hey, my name is Jade. My passion for fashion is style that makes a statement. My friends call me Cool Cat because I'm the coolest cat they know. She comes with one doll, one top, one jacket, one pair of pants, one pair of sunglasses, one pair of earrings, uh, one belt chain, one purse, one pair of shoes, one cell phone, one lipstick, one flat iron, one hair dryer, and one hairbrush. That's a lot. I think that was more than Yasmin's. And the side is just transparent. Top says Brett's always Brett stall Jade. And here's the barcode in case you want to find her in stores, which she is slightly popping up in Walmarts um, in Southern California. So here she is at a box, and the reason she's my third favorite is because there are a lot of things about how she came that I don't like. Like this gel in the uh, the two front pieces of her hair. They're just, ugh, I don't like them, and I don't like the fact that they're gelled. This coat is so big on her. Um, I plan on just tying it around her waist. Uh, her purse is nice, I guess. And her shoes are absolutely atrocious. I know everyone on Twitter is just like, wow, they really lost the plot with these shoes. And I have to agree. And her cell phone just says sale on it. Um, I kind of like that they came with accessories. They're kind of cute. This, though, however, is just bad. It's just a hunk of plastic. And... I don't know why they, they, they gave us that. Um, another red brush. Um, so that's nice. We yeah, get back to that. The molding and the detailing is really bad. And it's just so chunky. It's ugh. And then her hair. I don't get why it's tied back. In, when in the artwork, it's just free-flowing. Um, her earrings are shoes. And here she is uh, with some adjustments that I made. I still haven't washed her hair, but I untied it. And I prefer how it is here. Just all letting it all out. Um, I might redo the jacket being tied around her waist because it is a little messy looking. Um, articulated arms. This, unfortunately, is one piece. So the white and green are attached to each other. Um, however, the fishnets and the shorts are two separate pieces, and you can probably use these pieces for something else if you really wanted. And this, uh, chain actually comes off, too, so that's nice. And these glasses are horrendous, too. Uh, shoes and the glasses, definitely the worst parts. And the, the hair dryer, just awful parts with this doll, um... The green is a choice. Uh, I can't say that I love it, and I can't say that I hate it. I'm just indifferent to it, but I would have preferred it to be black. Like, what are these shoes? Ugh. I know in the poster and in the art, the shoes look much better. Uh, but they, like, they drop the ball with those shoes. And here, the jacket's really thin, too. And not as, like, poofy and big as the doll one. And it looks really nice here on the doll. I mean, on the artwork. I can't say the same that it looks good on the doll. And these shoes, they're so thick. They look good, as like thick. And now they're just so flat. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thank you.